Look, it's like a time capsule. Uh, this is the website for the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee as of right now. This is what it looks like tonight, featuring President Obama shaking hands with supporters, just like the old days. It's possible Democrats are feeling nostalgic. It's possible their photo editor just quit. But luckily for Democrats, the Democratic Party has a golden opportunity right now, tonight, uh, to get out of its past, to get unstuck, to start fighting in the Trump era. Republican Congressman Tom Price is leaving Congress to become health secretary. That means his seat is open. There's an open House seat in Georgia that he's vacating to join the cabinet. Special election for that seat's coming up soon. And yeah, that, that seat in Georgia has been Republican for a long time. Tom Price had no problem getting reelected there. But you know what happened in that district in the presidential election? Trump barely won. He won that Georgia district by less than two points. Maybe that means that Democrats could take that seat in a special election. The way this works is, in Georgia, they use a jungle primary system, which means all the candidates from all the parties run all in the same primary. And then after that primary, the top two candidates, regardless of which party they're in, they'll go head to head in the final special election. So it starts off as kind of a free for all. The Republicans who do appear to be trying to maybe run in that race, they're hugely divided right now, hugely torn amongst themselves over whether or not they should be campaigning on the platform of their new party leader, Donald Trump. There's real division in the Republican Party around that. That plus the partisan rating of that district in the last presidential election, this looks like a, an opportunity for Democrats to really you know, do a 180, turn things around, right? Make a splash in one of the first congressional races under President Trump. Despite that, the Democratic Party has apparently decided, eh, can't be bothered. The Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee has sent full-time staffers to about a third of their target districts for 2018. They haven't sent anybody to this Tom Price district. A district they've known since November might open up. That was only plus 1.5 in the presidential. Democrats haven't even said whether they plan to spend any money there. And they don't have any staffers there. Tom Price's seat is one of four House seats that will likely open up or are open because they're held by members who've been nominated to work in the Trump White House. But here's what the recruitment director for the DCCC is saying about those races. Quote, we all have to acknowledge that those seats are held by Republicans and they've been held by Republicans for quite some time. And so, eh, what are you going to do? Eh. Things are moving. Races are in motion. That district, Tom Price's district, Trump won it by one and a half points. Democratic Party really isn't going to contest that? Really? Democrats, if you're not moving forward right now, you are losing ground.